Hey guys, suck it here and say we have a ethereal knives uh, trickster from Andrew. Also, before we get into this, I just want to apologize again to Andrew. He actually sent me this build uh, a few weeks back, but I missed the message. So, sorry that it took so long to get uploaded. Uh, this is my third league, and while I've been able to consistently reach endgame in the last two leagues, Shaper and Tier 16 Conquerors, I've never downed Uber Elder or Cirrus. Uh, build creation still eludes me. Before I started following build success, I tried myself. My first dumpster fire was an EK trickster that never downed Katava. With a clear speed league, I wanted to try to recreate that character with my knowledge of the game, but now I'm trying to pull the build in too many directions. Can you help me make it more efficient? I am open to all suggestions, but would like to keep EK. Would like to go hybrid or low life because of any of because I never have, not necessarily if it's too clunky. Now, my initial reaction was going to be, let's drop EK and go for Blade Vortex or something. But he's like, I know I want to keep the EK. Um, so we're going to have to try and push as much damage as we can. Out of interest, what are his DPS numbers? He is also running Blade Blast, which is cool. Um, if he's got 50 blades, that's pretty big deeps. I haven't played a, a Blade Blast build yet. So I'm not sure what the, like the optimal setup is for this. So if anyone could help me with this, would appreciate it. But off the bat, my initial reaction is gonna be like, let's just try and make this tree as clean as possible. So we'll start off by looking through his links. Uh, we're gonna definitely have to try and redo his tree to get more defense in there because he's looking very squishy. So this is just stuff he's leveling. So we can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Uh, so for auras, he's running a level 1 precision just for a little bit of extra crit chance. Fair enough, I guess. His crit chance is very low, actually. Zealotry, Herald of Ash. Okay. He's rocking a blade boss in his helmet. Fair. He's running a flame dash, arcane surge, and power. Power charge on crit. That's pretty meme -y. Okay. He's got Vol Discipline, Steel Skin, Cast Numbers, Taken, Summon Lightning Girl. I hate Summon Lightning Girl. I'm going to cut this. Uh, Varus Fire Increased Duration Proj Week. And he's got EK, Added Fire, Unleash, Fist Lightning, Crit Damage, Pierce. Alright, okay. For gear, he's got a plus one wand with Crit Multi, a little bit of Spell Damage. Now keep in mind, it's very difficult to trade on console. So most of the gear options I'm going to suggest are going to be things that he's going to be crafting himself. His other wand is plus one fizz. Some crit chance. No spell damage though. Yeah. Uh, the increased physical damage is local. It's not global. It's very confusing. But that's like that's getting the base damage of the wand. That's not like scaling all the physical damage on all your spells. Keep that in mind. Um, so this isn't that great. The plus one is solid. The crit chance is solid. But it's basically just like a two stat wand. Um... His helmet has no life, and it does have a good chunk of energy shield, which is nice. But it hasn't got that much ES, so we're going to replace this. Let's say he's going to try and craft a new helmet. Uh, his chest piece is solid for hybrid trickster. It's got a good amount of resist on there. It's got some evasion. It's got some ES. It's got 80 life. Obviously, he could have a better one, but you know this has got resist, and it's, it's not terrible. Um, this could be improved, but for now, it's fine. If you could get hold of one, I always recommend Restless Ward as a good starter chess piece for these people. Uh, by these people, I mean tricksters, because uh, it gives like 1200 evasion, 350 energy shield, 80 life. I can feel a sneeze coming, so I might make a weird face in the next couple of minutes. Um, otherwise, you can just try and eventually craft your own Sadus Garb. Um, and just yeah keep an eye out just keep IDing good hybrid chests by hybrid i mean like evasion energy shield hybrids and just keep going until you get an upgrade uh, an incursion chest needs to percent crafted life on there or something could be very solid as well kalias's grace um gives them some energy shield gives them some life gives them some crazy certain mana recently i mean it's it's fine it's a pseudo five link since he is running oh wait his blade boss is in his helmet though Right, okay, if you're going to do that, shove... What have you got in your gloves? Right, instead of having the Flame Dash Arcane Surge in your gloves, shove the the Blade Blast in your gloves, because then you that will increase your DPS, because you'll cast your Blade Blast faster. So that's way more important. Um, you could definitely get better gloves, um, but for now it's fine. Now, 
you can actually craft pierce on helmet and gloves um very strong you i saw you're running the pierce uh, gem early, and obviously using Void Walk, which if you pierce, I'm gonna drop both of those and say get crafted pierce on your helmet. Uh, your gloves, you can also get plus two pierce on hunter boots. Um, so if you had, for example, hunter boots, then crafted on helm and gloves, you'd have four global pierce, non situational pierce as well, so it's always active, um, and that would let you drop some stuff. So Void Walker for now is fine because it's it gives you, you know, five pierce and gives you some movement speed, gives a little bit of energy shield, but we're gonna look to replace that. Again, we would like to replace these gloves, but for now they're fine. Uh Victoria's Acuity. Sure, it's giving you frenzy charge, it's giving you power charges, which is great while mapping. It's giving you some projectile speed, which means your EK travels further. So if you're just mapping, I'd say this is good. Um, but it doesn't give you any life, it doesn't give you any energy shield. Gives you a tiny bit of resist, but not really. You're going to want to replace this eventually. Um, this ring is solid. It gives a good chunk of resist. Gives them some life. It'd be ideal to have life and yes, but that's, that ring is fine. Uh, this this you could get a better ring. We can be let's be honest with one another. This isn't anything special. You want to try and put a better ring in there. City Advisor is actually decent. Um, You've crafted strength. One thing I would recommend, um, you can craft one of the prefixes you unlock from Syndicate is 200 flat evasion and then like 25 ES. Very strong craft for tricksters. Would highly recommend uh, looking for uh, something like that in the future. But this for now is, is fine. Obviously, you'd want a bet one with like more stats, but for now, it's gives you life, gives you some ES, gives you a little bit of res. Um... Give, I'm guessing you need, you're using because you need the resist. You want the onslaught generation somewhere on your character, so that's kind of like whatever. Uh, colossal of staunching, catalyze. I wouldn't run a colossal. You replace this for if you want to run a catalyze, run a catalyze of tunnel. You're missing out on loads of life sustain, so let's say that needs to improve. Uh, Avengers isn't a very good prefix, but it's fine for now. You'd like to improve this. Uh, I'm a big fan of chemists, which reduces the charges used. Increased duration or like extra charges or something. Courts of Heat. I think Courts Last is very powerful this week. So you had uh, Freeze Removal, Cast Removal, then you had Bleed Removal on your Life Flask. So it looks solid. Xerius Promise is a good DPS flask. I wouldn't run an Overflowing uh, Chalice. I'd run a Quicksilver Flask of Adrenaline. Because um, you'll just map way faster with it. So I'd go for that. Uh, Alright, so your gear, like, what, it was mostly a case of like just not being particularly strong, but none of it was really like. It's not like anything was the wrong stuff. You said you've only started playing the last couple of leagues. So, to be honest, your gear is pretty solid. Um, so, what was this cost that you're do doing for him? So, this is giving him some... Spider just leached his ES. He's already got some of that there. So, it doesn't really give him anything that great. A little bit of spell damage. A little bit of cast speed. Eh. Eh. N nothing great. To be honest, this Cluster Jewel isn't really doing anything for you. You could drop this Cluster Jewel completely. Um, so we're going to replace those because they're just not very good for your build. Uh, Alright, so now we'll try and clean up the tree as much as we can. And then we'll look into what Cluster Jewels I would recommend for this kind of a build. Now I'm going to, just out of interest, try and make a tree from scratch. And we'll just sort of see how it goes. I haven't played uh, one of these builds before. So I'm going to make it one out of scratch, then I'm going to look at Peewee Ninja and see how people are actually doing it. I should just do that first, but this is always fun. Um, I guess it's a decent two-pointer. It's always awkward the way you root these. Uh, you could also take this pierce here. Um, on the tree and not get pierce on gear. Um, I generally really like these clusters on hybrid. So you could do something kind of like that, maybe. What's more damage? Uh, 2.4. This is more damage, so we'll go for the more damage option. Fitting this shit in is nice, but. We'll, we'll get this shit last. Because uh, we're just trying to 
you know, save points to start off with. Uh, that is 4.8 per point. Okay, so we'll keep that. It's pretty solid. Throat Seeker is good deeps. We want to cut across either through here or along the top. Uh, let's say we went across this way. Grab the spell crap. Grab the life. Alright. 10, 10. 8.1 per point. If chance to do double damage, also gives them some strength. That's like a decent way of doing that rooting. We might not keep this, but like, it's pretty solid. Uh... 4% chance steel damage is kind of just like 4% more damage effectively. You need strength, so that's like pretty decent. Uh, the other advantage of doing this rooting is you save a bunch of. Uh, you get a bunch of decks. You could also shove one point here and just drop these three points. That might seem like a huge DPS uh, downgrade, but Cluster Jewels are super powerful. So people have just been going like, what can I do to save as many points as possible for Cluster Jewels? So, you know, the fact you can do one point instead of three, something worth considering, but we'll get back to Cluster Jewels later. Um, so where am I going from here? Level 66. See, it's awkward because you want to shove a fat cluster jewel set up in somewhere. Um, hmm. Okay, so we went a bit more hybrid. Well, that 74... So that'd be 142 life, 114 ES. Uh, two life jewels. You could maybe, cut, instead of doing three points there, go like one, two. Then do jewel, jewel. 77 points. You could maybe do something sort of like that. Maybe even cut that down to something like that even. Um, just to save as many points as possible, but... So you went to something kind of like that. And what are the main DPS things at this point? 3.4 per point. Your crit is very low. Very, very low. Let's say you're, you've got crit chance on power charges. We will get you power charges somehow. Um... You could go for a shield and then take Arcane Swiftness, which would be solid. Hmm, okay, let's look at Pee-Wee Ninja and see how people are building these builds on Pee-Wee Ninja out of interest. But I'd probably go for something that looks sort of something like that. It's probably completely wrong. So we're looking at Trickster and we're looking at like Blade Boys. Let's look at like Blade Vortex, um, Blade Blast, stuff like that. Um... There's one dude blade blasting up. He's gone mom. Dual inspired lining. So you can see he's come up this way to save points. Uh, he doesn't take this cost. He comes along. He gets his cost jewel there. And then grabs the crit and the life. I kind of like that. Um, Uh, let's look at some Blade Vortex fools. Um, right. Impulses. You've gone that way. Grab that. Come across. Get the shield stuff. Makes sense. No cluster jewel. You shove the cluster jewel in there. You come across that way. Makes sense. Okay. <sighs> right. Mm. Okay. Do you like the idea of... Ideally, if I was doing a tree, I'd want to look something sort of like that. And then maybe dropping all this shit at the bottom. Maybe this is greedy. Um, instead, just going like one, two. So, yeah, you could maybe just do like this. Mm. 
level 90 tree. Level 86 tree. Mm. Mm, to be honest, I preferred it how I had it set up. I did actually prefer it the way we had it set up. Um... And the projectile speed is good for EK, so we probably should go for that. Um, right. Okay. Let's just let's just like put some decent gear on the character, and maybe we can salvage. We can salvage this mess. It's a bit of a weird fucking tree. He, he, he said he wanted to go hybrid, though. And, um... If we shove a shield on... And, like, some solid actual life gear... We could, we could make this work. So... If we could aim for, like... 4 to 5k... If we could get, like, 5k life and, like, 2, 3k ES... I'd, I'd feel happy... So you know, let's let's go for that. Uh, this isn't this is not the kind of build that I would play in hardcore. By the way, I, I would never play this build in hardcore. Um, this this seems so fucking wrong. I should just I I really feel like I should just like boom boom boom. I don't know if I'd even run a cluster jewels in this build to be honest. I'm gonna do a tree with no cluster jewels because I don't know if cluster jewels are actually good for the setup. I'd have to look afterwards to see, like, uh, what you would run. Um. You could just go for that tree, then shove a cluster jewel in there. 70. Eighty-four. Oh. Oh, that's way better. Okay, dude, do this. This is way better. <laughs> I, I sometimes find myself, I get stuck in trees. So I, I find it a lot easier if I just start from scratch. Because if you just start from scratch, you end up like... Um, you, like, you get too attached to previous ideas. Yeah, this, this looks, this looks fine. 172 life. 100%. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's the tree. Um, so, what would I go for? I would definitely go Escape Artist. With Arcane is nice for mana sustain. It's good for the attack and cast speed. Swift Quill is great for power charges, frenzy charges. Harness the Void definitely is the biggest DPS increase. Patient Reef is also really good for just life ES sustain. Um, I, I'm i tempted to take patient reborn. I'd be tempted to do something like that, just like defensively. What did you go for originally? You went for swift killer. Um, this will make you feel a lot tankier if you go for patient reaper, just because you'll have that life and ES sustain on there. Swift killer will do deeps. We've the arcane, we've you mana sustain in deeps. Um, are you shield charging? If you're shield charging, you're not shield charging. If you're shield charging, I like Swift Cut. If you're not shield charging, I'd drug it with the arcane for mana sustain or patient reaper. But that's the tree. Let's get rid of this shit. And uh, we can keep his his tree. Right. Uh, now let's clean up links and let's clean up gear and let's clean up all the things. If you stuck with dual wield, great. If you went for a shield, you'd shove arcane swiftness in. So let's go for just a pair of example ones, like what you'd kind of want to aim for. Um, right, okay, so definitely gonna want spell crap. Uh, you can craft 70% spell crap, so you're gonna want at least 70%. Um, ideally, plus a number of fizz gems or spell gems. Either or. And then just go on spell damage. Um, 
Now, a good trick on how to craft these, because um, again, self-crafted gear is going to be very important because of, you know, you can't trade that much on Xbox. You can get a lot of essences from Delirium League. Uh, one of the essences, I believe it's Essence of Woe, gives you um, a big chunk of spell damage. I level two wands um, can hit the plus one to level of physical gems. So what you can do is, is you can purposely farm a bunch of I level two wands. You can just buy them off the vendors and stuff or just like make an alt character, get like 10 of them. Throw essences in and it, you're quite likely to hit a plus one level of skill gems. Um, so you could just like throw essences in until you get plus one level of uh, physical spill gems spell gems and then you can just craft crit it's a very easy way of getting decent weapons early um but otherwise just wait until you can pick up a good one but that's just like a a clean way of you know going for something so let's say you just had like two weapons like that as example weapons um i think the another really good build sorry another really good item for this build would be a cold iron point it's a unique uh item but it's plus three to level of physical spell gems deal no ellie damage um, you're not doing any fizz to Ellie, fizz to Ellie conversion. You are doing fizz as chaos, so you can still do chaos damage uh, with cold iron points. So that's solid. So that's just something to consider. So I'll just add that in as an option for you. Um, right. So again, on the theme of let's just craft a bunch of gear for you, you're going to want to try and uh, self craft a hubris circlet with as, as much life and energy shield as possible um again essences are your friend this league just showers the player in essences so it's pretty easy to get yourself like a solid um helm so before you had like a 200 es helm with no life go for like at least a 150 140 helm with life um in the private league I was playing on my trickster when I was still hybrid, I had like a 160 helmet with like 100 life or something. It's not that crazy to get hold of. And then any resist that you're missing. These gloves are fine, um, but they're not that insane. Um, also, since you're doing this whole Blade Blast plus EK setup, Anything we can do to add additional links to the Blade Blast would be great. Also, you are running added fire, which would be bad for the Cold Iron Point. So, let's look at PWDB for crafting. And have a look at what some of the... Never mind. We can't do that. Uh, Shaper Helmets. Uh, <laughs> fuck's sake. Um, are another option. Um, because you can get some cool mods on there. So, you can get, uh, hypothermia. You're not really chilling. Uh, maybe if you're running hatred. Okay, what about on elder helmets? On elder helmets you could get. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's an essence which gives 50% of fizz added as lightning that you could use. But let's say that you just had that as is. Uh, for boots, we were saying hunter boots eventually. Um, you want to just stick to as much energy shield or hybrid evasion energy shield as possible. Because you're doing the whole trickster vibes. Um, and you're just going to want life. 30% movement speed. You can craft like 60, 70 life, so that should be what you're aiming for, at least 70 life in all of your gear. And then Hunter with uh, Pierce, that'd be your uh, ideal setup. You need um, uh, I level 80 to get Pierce 2, but only I level 75 for Pierce 1, so pretty should be pretty easy to just farm up yourself. Obviously, getting it on the best base might be difficult, but just getting it on any base shouldn't be too too hard um again hunter hunter gear is gonna be a kind of a reoccurring theme you need strength and dex so let's go for a strength and dex Emmy. um you can get plus level of gems so you get plus one level of dexterity gems um also i believe it's warlord is plus of physical gems 
you know, pass on to physical gems. So you could go for an eye level 82 hunter or warlord's chest piece. Either or would sort you out. Um, and if you went warlord, you could also then get the fizz's extra fire, which would be very solid. Um, with life. So let's just say that you get a plus one with life. Um, and that's going to be like what you're aiming for. That's going to be like your, your pinnacle. Let's just say you had crafted life on there, just 55. Um, and then I'll just give you examples of the kind of rings you want on both slots. You could get it on a vermilion ring base. Great, because percent life. Otherwise, just whatever resists you'd need. And then you're looking for as much life, as much energy shield as possible. If you could get car speed, it's damage. Great, but otherwise just as much resists as you can. Um... You could go for an Assassin's Mark on Hit Ring, which is... Uh, who is Assassin Mark on Hit? Shaper Ring. Um, so a Shaper Ring of 8 over 2 and I level 75 to 80. Getting the Assassin's Mark on hit would be very nice. Your crit chance is kind of low. I'd much rather run that than Projectile Weakness. Since Projectile Weakness only scales your EK. It doesn't scale your Blade Blast. So that would be like your ideal ring. So one Shaper Ring and then just one other ring with as much life and resist as you can get. Um, so you just focus on like one high life ring and then any missing resistances. Um, your belt was fine, but you just want it with better stats on it. Um, you're going to want a onslaught jewel. Jewel of this. So a searching or a murderous jewel. Either can run the onslaught mod. And you're just looking for life and onslaught. And the way you'd craft those is you would just get a decent uh, jewel. Highest eye level murderous or searching jewel you have. And just spam alts and regals. Um... Alt or Eagle, sorry, until you got life onslaught. If you got like a resist or something, great, but just life and onslaught is all you really care about. Um, that's what you want there. So for these extra jewels, um, you can also go for uh, what's it called? Um, there is a jewel you get from act five that gives plus one pierce that you could use early on it's like something's reach uh what is it called uh unique pierce jewel Dewey. poacher's aim that's the one uh poacher's aim is another solid option if you just need to get one pierce somewhere in your build it is limited to one but it's just something you could add in somewhere so that's just something that you could consider so i'm just going to say that you you run one while you try and get your um, craft on your gloves and your helmet um, for one pierce. Uh, and then you're just going to want like two life jewels uh, with crit multi. So, and life. Or like spell damage or whatever. But percent life. Let's say you had crit multi. And then you'd want like a three stat DPS jewel, but a two stat would be fine. So again, you would just alt regal, alt org regal. In life is the most important, so you're rolling for life. Then either spell damage, physical damage, spell damage while wielding a wand, while jewel wielding, gravel critical strike multiplier, blah, 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 blah. Car speed, who cares? Uh, let's shove in the quicksilver that we were talking about. And then we'll look at the cluster jewel setup last for some cluster jewel ideas we could put into this build um i'd run a chemist on there because i like chemist flasks but it's personal preference and then you were running a catalyzed so if you want to run a catalyzed flask then use eternals um if you want to use an instant flask use divines it's just because of the way their numbers work out so for catalyzed flasks eternals are better for seething fl uh, flasks uh divines are better and of staunching but again, as I said ages ago, considering you're a new player, your stuff is actually pretty solid. Um, Assassin's Mark is going to be generated with the power charges. Bonk. Crit chance is lucky through the diamond flask. Bonk. Um, 
So, now let's have a look at your actual links and everything. And just work out what is the optimal in terms of links. So, Unleash, I'm not sure if that is optimal. Um, but if you want to run Unleash, fair enough, you want to run Unleash. More power to you. So, what are we seeing here? So, added fire is giving you 42.6. Okay. Control destruction, 34.1. Power. Spellico plus Unleash, that seems like a yikes. What links do people run on these builds? Uh, do we have anyone playing Ethereal Knives? EK, Inspiration, Arcane Surge, Chain, Spellico, Control Destruction. I'd probably rather run Spellico than uh, Unleash, personally. EK, Control Destruction, Fizzle Lightning, Cast on Crit Fork. For Matt Clear. Uh, so this guy's gone two daggers, tiny shroud. Yeah, this is, this is nice. I like this. Again, he went no cluster jewels because I'm guessing there aren't that many good cluster jewels for this build. EK, Ellie Focus, Cold Fire Control Station, Fist Lightning. So he's going full elemental conversion because he's doing Eternity Shroud memes. Um, Awakened Fork is great, but I'm guessing you're not going to have an Awakened Fork. What curses was he running? A Hatred. And. Of Discipline. Uh, what were you running? EK Pierce, ES Leech, Spell Echo. Oh, ES Leech is a solid. Yeah, ES Leech should be good. So, let's say Unleash or Spell Echo. Um, control Destruction. Energy Leech. Um, and then, where's the Are You Leeching ES thing? Is a boss. Do you always have energy shield? Why is it not? Where's the leech thing? I'm missing it. I'm not seeing it because I'm, I'm stupid at this game. Uh, oh, there is. Are you leeching your shield? Um, and then you could run, like, added fire or something. This feels a bit shitty. Crit strikes could be an option. Your crit is still very low. Fizz to lightning. Hypothermia if you're chilling. Which, with a hatred, you should be chilling. You should be chilling with a hatred. Um... Let's see what's better than what's your hatred. Hatred also means you're going to be shattering, which I'm going to prefer, generally speaking. 15.1. It's going to be slightly less DPS, but it's going to mean that you're going to be chilling reliably. You're also going to be shattering shattering corpses, uh, which then means you get to run hypothermia as a link, which will be a big DPS increase. Because you just haven't got that many good links for this build. One, two, three, four, five. So if you wanted to run Pierce, you could run Pierce as your sick link. You do also want to just try and get a level 21 Ethereal Knives. Um, if you want to run Unleash, you could run Unleash instead of the Spell Echo. Um, and then probably just go like Added Fire or uh, Crit Strikes. And then I guess you could run Pierce just for map clear. So I think it's sort of like that. Uh, Blade Blast. Is the Fizz to Light really that great? Let's see if I want the Fizz to Light. Uh, why is it saying it's only... Yeah, no. So for Blade Blast, we're going to go for, again... Uh, control Destruction. Maybe Conquer Facts, since it's just for DPS. Um... And then you get like ES Leech Hypothermia or something. Yeah. 
So it's, you're, you're only using you're only using it for pure single target. You're never gonna have 50 blades out, so you have 10 blades out. Um, that seems better. So I'm gonna try and trim as many links as possible. Uh, I'm gonna drop the projectile weakness. Got the assassin's mark from the ring. Okay. So you've got that in your gloves. You're gonna, you're currently using the Cassius Grace glove, so it's a five link. Sometimes you're getting the crit chance. Cool. Um. So that's your gloves. That's your chest. I'm steam, dude. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. So now we need to just fill in floating gem sockets. So you've got twenty five percent unreserved mana. You could run a clarity. You could still run the level one precision. Put a little bit of extra aura. Um. You don't really have any armor in this build, so you could just go for like a cast damage taken, a mortal call or something. So that's what you went for. Cast, one damage taken, a mortal call, and that'd be level three, level one, increased duration. I quite like cold snap on cast damage taken um, because it gives um, frenzy charge generation, uh, which is important. Um, and also it will chill enemies, which will help enable your hypothermia when you're like, you, you'll be chilling enemies anyway, just because of hatred, but yeah. Um, alternatively, you could go for a Vol Grace in here. I would go for a Vol Grace personally, or a Vol Discipline. Um, or if you just want more damage, I guess you can go Vol Righteous Fire. You were running Vol Righteous Fire before. Damage doesn't seem that high in this build, so let's go for Vol Righteous Fire in there. Um, so that is his, let's say that's his boots. So we've still got a floating gem in here. Let's say he, he ran a portal gem. Uh, I imagine pick up portal scrolls is annoying on Xbox. So then he's got an open three link and... Uh, an open four link. So let's say that you went for. Um... You've got a good movement skill setups. I really like dash, second wind. Dash, second wind, something. Um, you could go for, I prefer dash over flame dash. Empowers, enhances, you probably don't have because Xbox. Um, war cries are very strong, but you want, you don't want to add too many buttons because controller. Um, what else scales well with dash in this build? I really like Decoy Totem. I think Decoy Totem's great. Mm, and Decoy Totem actually works with Second Wind. Um, one thing you can do, which is Frost Bomb. Frost Bomb could be decent. Because he is going to be doing some cold damage. Um, he could also go for like a Wave of Conviction. If you could get Trigger Socketed Weapons, that would be really good. Um... So one of the mods that you can get from Syndicate is trigger a socket spell when you cast the spell. It's got a four second cooldown. If you had that, you could then have like Frost Bomb in there. Wave of Conviction. Um, you could have a Blade Fall automated as well just to make additional blades for your Blade Blast ability. Um, if you had those, you would run those in like your, you know, one of your weapons. Um, but yeah, otherwise you could run I just I, random things you could run. Uh, Frost one would be good. Uh, Wave of Conviction would be good. Um, you could run a decoy totem if you want to run a decoy totem. Um, you could run an Enduring Cry. Um, you've already got a curse. Uh, he's already got a custom damage taken skill. I guess you could run a precision. You could run a, a brand power charge on crit setup. Just to help get power charges on bosses. 
I don't know. Something sort of like that. Um, but with this rough kind of gearing, which isn't too crazy, um, the damage has gone up. And you're now looking at like 5k life, like 3k ES with a level 84 tree. Um, I don't really think there are actually any good cluster jewels for this build. But we will look just in case there is um, at what I would recommend. So let's do that. I'm sorry that this video is dragging on a bit. I, I always struggle with the builds I don't play very often. I struggle with because I don't play them very often. So I, I don't know how to do them. Um, so you'd be looking for physical damage or spell damage. Uh, nope. You're not channeling. You can just get arcane surge. Oh, you'd want to link arcane surge to your dash. Uh... I can search like up six or something, so it's always active. Um, eh, nah. Mm. If you're doing the unleash thing, seal mender would be good. So you're getting the unleashes more regularly. So if you want to run unleash instead of spell echo, I'd go for seal mender. Um, with as few poss passives as possible, but Essence Rush gives you damage while leeching ES. Attack and cast speed. Well, that's, that one's okay. A little bit extra leech as well. Uh... So it's just ES. Hinder on spells. Hinder's fine. I'd probably go for Thaumaturge, Seal Mender, and. Off. I feel like Essence Rush. Maybe like one of the block nodes. But none of them are that great, to be honest. Um, yeah. The spell ones are kind of meh. Six percent solo can cast. I go probably go for Conjured Wall for the spell block. Um, so you go for that and two jewels. And then, what do you have on mediums? Uh, the flask ones are always just generically decent. Um, projectile damage. Go for the pierce. 20% prod speed, I guess, is fine. That's kind of meh. That's kind of meh. That's meh. That's meh. Yeah, that's, to be honest, I wouldn't even really bother. with For this build, I wouldn't actually bother with Cluster Jewels. I think this is probably the only build I wouldn't use Cluster Jewels on. Um, I would instead just focus on filling in more damage and more life and stuff like that. So then you can just be like, okay, what, what gives me more damage at this point? Uh, you can take that for 4.2. So maybe at this point you would then do like the weird routing that I planned out earlier. Um, where we went like this along the bottom. Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure for this one to be completely honest with you. But, um, yeah. I think as a base i would go for something sort of like that if you want to mess around with cluster jewels shove cluster jewels in here you could also very easily go block with at this point sort those two points around there go block take block nodes uh these nodes are great for the uh crit chance and the car speed i'd probably take those three points anyway I'd probably go for something kind of like that and just focus more in on some, like, just generic defense block than just picking up, like, good two-point nodes, which give a lot of damage, like, stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, I would say that is probably kind of the foundation I would go for. Um, you could just also just chase down energy shield and life wherever you can. You can take Light of Divinity, which is a, a good two point, because it gives you a little bit of crit, some spell damage, some car speed. 
It's level 90 tree. Maybe go for... That as my finished build, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say I'd go for something sort of like that. And I'd probably be I'd tempted to throw in Devotion. And get like Divine Fury, Divine Wrath as if I pushed higher levels. But I think that's kind of the base that I'm settling on. Um, with that in mind, we've managed to get the damage up a fair amount. So that's good. And... Um, yeah, I hope that helped a little bit. Sorry if that was a very, very long video. I tried to keep them about 20 minutes long, but anyway. I do struggle with some of these builds every now and again. I'm Taki. Have a good day. Bye-bye.